Today we're going to be showing you how to program your one outlet hose faucet timer. Programming is done by turning the dial clockwise and following these steps. First, you'll need to set the current time. Turn the dial to set clock. Use the plus and minus buttons to select the current time of day. Hold down the buttons to scroll more quickly to the desired time. Pay particular attention to the AM and PM. After the correct time has been set, use the arrow button to move the days of the week on the bottom of the LCD and then the plus and minus buttons to select the correct day of the week. Once you have set the current time and day of the week, turn the dial to start time. This timer has the ability to set up to four start times. Only one start time is required to use this timer. However, adding multiple start times to your program can be useful to allow the water to saturate the ground better and provide less runoff or water waste. For example, instead of watering at 30 minutes at 5 a.m., you can water at three intervals of 10 minutes each at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., and 7 a.m. This gives time for the water to saturate the ground. By doing this, you are using the same amount of water, but with less waste. Use the plus and minus buttons to select the time you would like watering to begin. Hold the button down to scroll faster to the desired time. If you would like to add multiple start times, press the arrow button to move from cycle A to cycle B, C, and D, and add the desired start times using the plus and minus buttons. Once you have set the watering start times, turn the dial to how long. Enter how long you want the timer to water per start time from 1 to 360 minutes. Use the plus and minus buttons to select your watering duration. Press the arrow button to move from cycle A to cycle B, C, and D. Enter how long you want the timer to water using the plus and minus buttons. If you do not program a watering duration for a start time, the timer will simply skip that start time during watering. Finally, you'll want to tell the timer how often to water. Once you have set watering duration, turn the dial to how often. You have the option of selecting specific days of the week to water or select intervals of every 6 hours or 12 hours or once a day to every 7th day. To select specific days of the week, use the arrow button to toggle between days and press the plus button to each of the days you want the timer to water. A square will appear around the days you have selected. To remove a selected day, toggle to the day and press the minus button or clear button. Instead of watering on specific days of the week, Interval watering allows you to specify the number of hours or days between watering. The timer will water at the next scheduled watering time. For example, if today is Monday at noon, you set your timer to water every 6 hours with a start time of 5 a.m., your first watering will be today at 5 p.m. If you set an interval of 3 days with a start time of 5 a.m., the first watering will be tomorrow at 5 a.m and then the next watering would be Friday. However, if you set an interval of three days with a start time of 7 p.m., your timer will water today at 7 p.m., and then again on Thursday. To set interval watering, use the arrow button to toggle to interval, and use the plus and minus buttons to select your desired watering frequency. Once you have set the watering interval, turn the dial to auto. Congratulations, your timer is now programmed. Your scheduled watering will only run when the dial is in the auto position. The timer will flash the next watering time on the screen when it is within 24 hours of watering. To stop all watering, turn the dial to off. Your timer has the ability to allow you to manually water without disturbing the preset program. This could be very useful if it is extremely hot. You notice a dry spot and your lawn or plants need a little extra water, or if you want to use your hose. To use this feature, simply press the manual button while the dial is turned to auto. When you first press the manual button, the timer will display 10 minutes. Using the plus and minus buttons, you can select watering times from 1 to 360 minutes. Once watering has finished, the timer will automatically resume your program watering schedule. Note, if the manual button is pushed and no selection is made, within 5 seconds, the timer will water for 10 minutes. To stop manual watering at any time, press the clear button. Rain delay allows you to delay your timer from watering for a set period of time. This feature is useful if you have a lot of rain or if you notice your plants are too wet. To access the rain delay, press the plus button with the dial turned to auto. Select the delay anywhere from 24 hours to 7 days. After the set period of time, the timer will resume the scheduled program. To manually remove rain delay, press the clear button. 
Maintenance and winterizing are important and will prolong the life of your hose faucet timer. When expecting freezing temperatures, timers should be removed from the hose faucet and stored indoors, above freezing temperatures, to avoid potential freeze damage. The inlet filter traps dirt particles from entering the timer. Clean the filter regularly and replace if it's worn. Now sit back and relax and let your hose faucet timer take over your watering for you.